Weston Richburg. Uh, the 49ers restructured his contract, created almost $7 million in salary cap space, and they did it by restructuring, as I just said, Weston Richburg's, con Weston Richburg's contract. That's a tongue twister. And they could do that because he has no more guaranteed money in his contract and he's going to retire. And so, <clears throat> you know, a couple of things I saw on the Internet this morning. Good for the 49ers that they were able to create some cap space. Good news for the 40. It is good news. Now the Niners have 31.6 million in salary cap space. That's great. Maybe this move here is what's going to allow the 49ers to keep Jason Verrett or Kyle Juszczyk or Jaquaski Tart, some guy they weren't going to be able to keep. Now they can. That's great. So positivity. Wonderful. And also Weston Richburg, if he is retiring, congrats on a great career. Um, now, enough of that positive stuff. Enough of that sentimental stuff. I don't do that sentimental stuff. Let's talk about what a terrible signing Weston. But before we get there, I was talking about a couple of weeks ago, I did the 39 worst decisions Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch have made since they took over the team. Well, let's add a couple to that if this wasn't already on it. Not addressing the center position last year. What were they thinking? They knew what the injury was. He wasn't even close to coming back. They thought he might return for 2020. No, he's going to retire. He's never going to play again. How did you get that one so wrong? This should have been addressed last year. They should have drafted or signed a center last year, but they went into the offseason thinking, oh, we'll have Richburg back. Or, or I just can't imagine that – I can't fathom that Weston Richburg's injury was this serious. The Niners knew it, and we're like, hey, you know, let's roll the dice and see what happens. So that's one. Not addressing the center position last year is gross negligence. In hindsight, knowing what we know now and what the Niners should have known all along. Two, signing this guy to begin with. Let's give the Weston Richburg legacy, what he accomplished with the 49ers. He played like four years for the Giants, made about $4 million, missed, had some injuries, was a solid center, solid. But right before he came to the Niners, he had a season where he had a concussion and missed 12 games. Then he hit free agency after making about $4 million in his career. The Giants, who knew him quite well, were like, you know what? We're good. The Niners, who didn't know him nearly as well, but knew that he'd missed 12 games the previous season, were like, you know what? He's fantastic. He's, he's not just any center. He's a super center, and the only thing missing from him is a cape on his back because that's how good he is. You heard Alex Mack? No, 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 no. Weston freaking Richburg, greatest center of all time. Well, the Niners ended up spending $29.9 million spending, paying Weston Richburg $29.9 million for what amounted to 28 regular season games. No Pro Bowl appearances. More than $1 million a game for a solid center who missed a lot of time and was coming off an injury when the Niners got him. Not a good signing. This is why the Niners are where they are when they say, oh, you know, man, he's got bad luck with injuries. No, you've had injuries, but you've had the luck you created for yourself when you signed this guy and gave him an amazing amount of money. He goes in the pantheon of, there are like four or five people living in like Cabo San Lucas or with like $100 million in their bank account, maybe 50, 30, that did nothing. But they're living fat in retirement because of the 49ers. Malcolm Smith, Pierre Garçon, this guy now. I mean, how many guys have the Niners set up for, for life? For doing nothing. If you want a retirement fund and you're, and you're a 30-year-old uh, football player, come to the 49ers. They will pay you handsomely for some stuff you did in the past or maybe never did. Maybe just some stuff that you think Kyle thinks you can do in his system. Jerick McKinnon, that's another guy, $30 million set for life because of the Niners. Never had to do anything. Weston, enjoy it. Nothing wrong with that. You came here, you signed a contract, you played, you got hurt, you left. You didn't do anything wrong. Niners, who were you thinking on that one? Weston Richburg, huh? He's great.
no, no, no. Maybe the money that they saved on Richburg will use it for Alex Mack. I would bring Mack in a, in a draft to center. Keep up the great work, Grant. That's a thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're definitely going to bring in a guy like Alex Mack and they'll fix this. And this is a good day for the 49ers. But let's not just forget what an amazingly bad signing Weston Richburg was. And even though I'm against most things the Niners do when they do it, I was against the Weston Richburg signing. For the record, they signed him and Jerick McKinnon in the same offseason. Am I wrong? Wow, that's how you use cap space right there, baby. Boom.